A homestead can mean different things to different people. But in a broad sense, homesteading is about living a self-sufficient lifestyle. For most people, the main aspects of a homestead is living off the land and animals with the goal of being self-sufficient or at least limiting their reliance on outside sources. There are chores on every homestead, many of them having to be done multiple times a day, like feeding and watering the animals. It's not always rainbows and butterflies. Sometimes it's all about the poop. Here I am cleaning the trays that collect the rabbit pee and poop. We do not have a hutch system, rather an indoor setup with trays. This has to be done every day because the rabbit's urine is very caustic. He will eat through anything in a matter of days without it being cleaned. I dump it in one of our compost bins and then spray it out with a water hose. The poop is really great on gardens, by the way. Rabbit poop is one that can be put on plants directly and the plants will grow exponentially. One of the evening chores on my farm is putting the animals in their shelters. This helps guard them against weather and predators. Our goats have a shelter filled with straw, hay, minerals, water, and benches to lay on. It's big enough for two. However, we are in the process of building another shelter that is larger to house females, which this one will eventually be only for the male goats. Not only do I put them in their shelter at night, I also have to make sure they have all their needed things like plenty of timothy hay to munch on, minerals, and water. If you notice to the left, we have an IBC tote ready to go for the spring. We have elected to wait until then to collect rainwater to keep it from freezing and breaking. In the spring, we won't have to trek to the creek to collect water. It will make it a lot easier to fill up the animals' water buckets. We currently have 13 ducks, with the majority of them being khaki Campbell ducks. Khaki Campbells are one of the highest egg-laying ducks that there is. We built this hoop house out of two cattle panels, chicken wire and a tarp. It's not the best, but it's what we have for now. We do plan on making a much better and less drafty home for the ducks in the near future. I make sure the rubber water bucket is cleaned out and fresh water is added. We set a kettle panel up to help steer the ducks inside the shelter for the night. This was just a taste of the evening chores. As you could tell, we are not completely off grid. However, we are working on getting there. While the chores are physically demanding, it is also rewarding. Knowing that caring for the animals means plenty of scrambled eggs, milk, cream, butter, soap, cheese, rabbit and duck meat, and rabbit pellets. But most of all, love. Love from the animals and love of giving back to the land and providing self-sufficiency. My hope is that my videos will help you. Please consider helping me by liking, subscribing, and sharing this video with your friends and family. Also, let me know what you would like to learn about. I'm here to help you.